Well, that's a new spot. Never seen her there before. Anyway, I am on my way out to these couple of fields up here past the sedan grass. And I was out raking earlier today and I'm on my way to go bale it. Now some of this first field is still second crop. We had started chopping second crop off of it but didn't get all the way when we had to do some very tall sedan grass in this field right here. So we had to stop chopping this field up here. So dad cut it down all down yesterday. But what we ended up doing is I, ra I raked the new stuff that was growing back. But the stuff that we never were able to chop I just leaving because it's older second crop so we'll probably just use it for bedding or heifer food or something like that. And I gotta try to find the trail of hay that from where I was raking this morning. But I'll be bailing this stuff that I raked in this field and I raked that entire field over there. to get those belts moving. There we go. Now the third crop from this field wasn't the tallest in the world. But I think in the next field it's a lot thicker than it was in here, so there's more hay in the second field to be bailed than there is here. I think I can finally go back to making normal sized bales again. This stuff is actually pretty dry compared to the sand grass I've been baling lately. So I think I'll take it to four in that first line before I start tying it. And it's almost there right now. All right, there's the first bell. All right, just this row down to that end and then another row back up this end and I'll be done with this first field. Again, we're leaving these rows in the middle that I didn't rake because those are still second crop from stuff that we didn't chop. So we'll probably use that for heifer food or bedding. But I'm working on bale three right now. There's the first one I made and the second one's up there. Dad's coming out eventually to wrap them. I'm not sure when. Alright, I just finished what I had to do in this field. I got four full size bales. And I have about a size one, just a little bigger than a one in the baler. So I'll just start on this next field. It's so weird seeing corn in this field that I have never seen corn in that field before until this year. Usually it's just like hay that doesn't grow very well or a bunch of grass and clover and whatnot.
Yeah, in this field, we've got much bigger rows going into the baler. I didn't see how tall this was before Dad cut it, but he said it was thicker than this field right next to me. Okay, I'm just finishing up this little end down here, and then all I have just looks like three more rows down at that end of the field to do, and then I'll be done. Alright, I'm on the last little row here, and I just dumped a full bale. There is not a whole lot left to this row, so I will have a small bale in the baler when I'm done. Let's see, I don't think I'll tie this. I'll just fill up what's here, which is very little, and that's it. So probably what I'll do is just open the tailgate when we get home and kind of pull the hay out and put it in like a feed cart or something, because there's not a whole lot there, so. It's not like I've got a whole bale to pull out. But now that I'm done baling, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to take these bales that are up here and I'm going to take them down to the other end of the field where Dad's dumping all the rat bales. And then I'll take those down so he won't have to drive as far to come and get bales. And usually what I do when I'm doing this is I Get the farthest bales first so he doesn't have to travel as far for his bales. Well, it's a good thing I didn't tie that bale because Dad just told me to finish out this small bale that I have in the baler with one of these four rows over in this field. So I guess now I start baling again. Okay. Now I'm done bailing.
Okay, I think that'll wrap this one up. Get it? Wrap this one up. Ha ha ha. Thanks for watching, everyone.